So we're just going live. <clears throat> hi, Harry. Hi, Elliot. How are you? Great. Good, good, good. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have no Wi-Fi issues today. Yes. Praying. Yeah. <laughs> Since last time. <laughs> I was just, um, before we, you joined us, Harry, I was just saying that I watched your guys' TikTok and you also had some Wi-Fi issues on there, so fingers crossed. Not so much Harry, but uh, yeah, yeah. I, had, I had a lot of Wi-Fi issues, which was unfortunate. But... Uh, no, all good. Hey, thank you so much for, um, for joining us. It's, um, it's crazy. You guys, I'm not going to read the whole list of where everyone's Zooming in from, but we've got people Zooming who are on the Zoom call from Peru, Italy, Ecuador, Canada, Spain. Mexico, Costa Rica, Chile, Kuwait, wow. India, um, UAE, Guatemala, um, South Korea, Portugal, like Screech. So they're, they're zooming in all over the place and they're, I've, I've got them all on mute and they're all dying to ask you a couple of questions. But um, before we, we start, uh, obviously I've been getting all the questions coming through and there's definitely some themes about what people want to ask and some requests. Any ideas what one of the requests might be? That people want yes. what? What what do you reckon, Elliot? The uh the language of the dragons. Yes, Valarian. Indeed. So by the end I of imagine. this, you guys are gonna have to say something because honestly, the amount of people who have just said they need to <laughs> they need to say something. So no pressure, no pressure, but at some stage you're gonna you're gonna have to both of you separately are gonna okay. have to say something. Got it. Got, Got it. it. Okay. Fine by me. Awesome. Right, we're going to get going because we've got so many people um, who are really um, dying to ask questions. So we're going to go to uh, Julie. So Julie in Spain. Um, so Julie said she actually cried when you when your character died, Elliot. So um, yeah, I'm, I know. So Julie, how are you? And what's your question for Elliot? Hi, nice to meet you. Lovely um, to meet you. <laughs> My question is, if you go out in another saga, well, what would it be? Oh, I missed that too. Could you just repeat that question? Uh, if you go out in another saga, what would it be? Oh, another, if you could act, Whoa. yes. Good question. I mean, there's so many, isn't there? They've, if we're talking about like sagas, probably what, like Marvel, Star Wars, that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, I don't know. St I mean, Star Wars would be pretty cool, but then again, like some some kind of superhero thing would also be really cool. I'm sort of, I, I used to be like a, I still am, but I used to be like a massive Marvel fan, but now I'm leaning a bit more into like DC. Some of the the recent DC, DC stuff, I think, is like like the Batman. Harry's shocked that <laughs> like the Batman and and the Joker's are. You know what, but we'll stick with the safe side. Let's go with like Marvel or something. Because you can't go wrong with Marvel. Just forced you. Yeah, thank you so much. No, 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 no. You didn't, you didn't. I was just saying, <laughs> I think, I don't know. They, I preferred some of the old ones, but anyway. Awesome. Anyways. <laughs> cool, thank you. So what, what's been the latest one that you've watched, Elliot? Uh... I think the last one I watched was uh, the Doctor Strange, multi oh, yeah. Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. But I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch the new uh, Black pa uh, Black oh, Panther. Yes. Yeah. I really want to watch that. Yeah. I'm yeah. definitely gonna watch that one. But um, I didn't watch the new Thor. Didn't oh, watch that. I've no, I haven't. That. I haven't um, had a chance to see that either. But yeah. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Um, so Harry, we've got a question for you um, from yeah. coming from Canada. So we've got Eden. So, Eden, what's your question? Uh, hopefully she's... Okay, ready. hi. <laughs> Can you hear me good? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, my question is, if you could steal or take anything home from this set, what would it be and why? Really good question. Um, <laughs> thank you. I'm just trying to think if I did steal anything. I don't think I did. Because I I remember coming out of um, season one and not seeing anything and being really like oh I should have, um, <laughs> but I didn't want to get fired so that's fair enough. Um, <laughs> I um, <laughs> I I if I could take anything it would have been my sword really 
But then that project yeah. would have been quite dangerous and very illegal. So um, <laughs> I, I, for, for reasonings of, of the law, I probably uh, it wouldn't have taken the sword. But out of everything, if I had to, I would take the sword. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Eden. Um, so we are going to go to the Philippines and we've got a question for you, Elliot, from Louise from the Philippines, which I think it's oh. crazy o'clock there. I think it's morning, maybe two o'clock. Hi, can okay. you hear me? Hey, hello. hello. Hi, it's nice you. to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Lovely to meet you. Okay, so um, before I ask my question, I just want to um, include this. So I'm an artist and I live for character crumbs. Um, it's such a shame to see that Jace and Luke had such a good relationship in the show, but we only got to see so little of it in the three episodes that they were in. So my question is, um, if you were given a chance to add one more scene of Luke and Jace, um, the scene can be about anything. If you were given the chance to add one more scene of them in the show, what would be what would it be about? Because I would love to illustrate what you think of. Oh, that's a brilliant question. I know. I don't know if I, do you want to go first, Harry? Go ahead, mate. Go ahead. I, I was thinking, I think actually, Harry, we talked about this once. It, I feel like it would make it quite obvious, however, that I might be dead in, in later in the episode. But I was thinking just before we set off after the conversation with um, Rhaenyra about us being sent off, there's one more scene of me and Jace just like just just a little brotherly love kind of scene. Just going, you ready? Like hopping on the dragons. Just like going, yeah, let's do this. Just, you know, that last little interaction before we head off. And and then, uh, and then, whew, dead. Yeah, just it'd be a nice little addition, you know, before oh no, I have to that, die. That breaks my heart so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm excited to, to make an illustration of it. Now, I'm oh, really excited cool. to... Well, I hope I get to see it. That'd be amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you know. Louise, is cool. that one of your drawings in the background that we can see? Uh, y yes, actually. It's Arax and Caraxes. Oh. I meant oh, to wow. draw Vermax as well, but I didn't have the time because I got a lot of college stuff to do, too. So. Nice. Wait, you did that in the background? That's yeah, what yeah. I was going to ask. That's incredible. That is so cool. I can't Thank even you. draw a smiley face. That is, oh my God, that's really cool. <laughs> well Thanks done. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. <laughs> awesome. That's amazing. That is really amazing. 10 out of 10. Um, so we've also, those people who are watching live on YouTube, keep, um, Hello, and thank you for joining us. Keep sending through your questions. Um, we've got Shelley and Bella who are um, frantically going through and having a look at them all. So we'll get some of your questions um, soon. So next, we're actually going to go to Kentucky in the USA. Now, Brittany posted a message which is um, to one of the posts that said she was looking forward to this interview even more so than Thanksgiving. So I thought, wow. okay, we've got to let wow. you, we've got to let you ask a, a, a question. So Brittany, how are you? And what's your question for Harry? Oh my gosh. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, sorry. Um, if you had to describe your House of the Dragon character in three emojis, uh, what would they be and why? Ah, uh, um, Okay, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to look on my phone just to see that I don't really use it that much. So I'm going to really get into this and quickly look on my, on my phone for emojis. I think that it if would be... I can ask another one. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. This is actually really good. I, I'm just, I like to actually make detailed answers because, and then I'll stress out later on when I watch it back on YouTube and then I'll go, why did I say that? But I don't know. Anyway, um... <laughs> I think it's the sword, obviously. Oh. Um, the two two uh, boys standing next to each other for me and Elle as brothers, I'd say. And then the crown, because, um, yeah, I'm meant to be king soon, so. Yeah, totally. Awesome. <laughs> Very 
cool. Well, thanks Thank so much. You. I really appreciate it. Thank Made you. my Thanksgiving week. <laughs> Wait, so oh, hang on. Did you was thanks. Thanksgiving yesterday? Uh, today's Saturday, so no, it was Thursday. Uh, so two days ago. Oh right, right. Yeah. Yep. Black Friday was yesterday, so almost as important. <laughs> so it's, the day, it's always the day before Black Friday. Y yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's the last Thursday in November. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, yeah. my British friend is just asking a load of questions. <laughs> no, 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 totally, totally. Um, yeah, no, but uh, again, thank you so much. You're amazing, you. and I'm a huge fan of both of you, so thank, thank you much. guys so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Brittany, I could, as I say, I couldn't refuse. I saw your, um, your comment saying that you were looking forward to this more than Thanksgiving, and I thought, oh, you've got to ask one of the questions. So. <laughs> well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, good. Thank you. But, um, Harry, this isn't a question, but this is just a comment um, from someone watching it live. So Vanessa says that she loves your hair. Loves your hair, oh, how it is. thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, it's a bit annoying, but like, cause it's really like I don't know how, don't know how like people do it. I like, it's a bit disgusting. But like, when it first started growing out, I was eating my dinner and stuff, and then I'd be like, oh look, who's cooked this? Cause it's got a hair in it. But it would actually be my hair. <laughs> so yeah, there was a time where I was like to my mum, mum, that's disgusting. There's a hair in my food. She went, that's yours. I went, oh, and it clocked. So, but yeah, thanks. It, I, I do throw it to my short hair, but um, yeah, I'll keep it long. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. I think it look. I think it looks nice, Harry. Oh, cheers, Elle. Thanks, uh, mate. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we are going to Peru, and we've got a question for you, Elliot, from Marcella. Oh. Marcella. Uh, oh, hi, Elliot. Um, hi. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm a big fan. Actually, I want to tell you that all Latin America was crying on chapter A because we we already know what is going to happen on chapter Aww. on the final chapter and you can see all the memes on Twitter that we are like no don't go there no no please <laughs> we're all like I was crying for you and yes I have my question is what uh, I'm sorry what was your reaction when you read the script of the last chapter yeah That's my question, good question. um I think I, I wasn't really aware of like what was going to happen to my character because I hadn't read the books before. I, I'd obviously knew that there was, you know, Game of Thrones and this massive, but you know, this was a new thing and I hadn't read the book. Um, so when I was reading through the script, I didn't really know what to expect. And I just kept reading and reading and got crazier. And then it came to that one sort of page where I was just like, wow, like, that is honestly insane. And I, I it literally said like something like, I don't know, Lucerus Valarian. I, I can't remember exactly what it said, but I was just shocked, completely shocked. But I, I couldn't wait to do it really. I couldn't wait to film it. I was just like, oh, it's gonna be amazing. It was, it was a real good action pronounce it. And oh, I don't know no. if you both could share me a bit because on Thursday, I'm going to present my thesis for the university, and I'm really nervous. I don't know if you can, you both share me a little bit, please. What, what's that? You're going... So she said that she oh. is sharing her thesis to the university on Thursday, and she was just wondering if you could both cheer her on a bit. Oh, yeah. yeah Absolutely. Please. Yeah. Good luck. We'll cheer you on. We're there, we're there every step of the way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we are indeed. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I, I love you, you both. Thank you. I'm, I'm waiting for hear you both on your work and support you and everything what you do. Thank you. Oh, thanks so much. Thank, thank you. Awesome. Um, so Harry, we've got another question from YouTube from Sarah Gallagher, who is in Australia, and she has asked, "What was your favourite scene to shoot?" Um, my favourite. Thank you, Sarah, for the question, by the way. My my favourite scene to shoot was uh, the sword fight between me and Elle, purely because we just had probably the most fun possible. And training for it was quite stressful, I think, well, for me anyway, because, um, I don't know, Elle just seems to be naturally good at it. But the, but oh, the training was really stressful. And then when, <laughs> when um, it sort of all came together, 
but I remember buying these two big plastic swords from um, Amazon, I think it was, and I brought them to, we filmed it in, in a place called Cornwall in, in England, and, and uh, I, I brought it to the hotel, and me and Elle were just practicing with these uh, like plastic swords, but I remember they kept bending because they were made out of plastic, <laughs> so by the end of us practicing, they were like so slanted, we just couldn't use them anymore. Um, but yeah, when it finally happened, it was the beach, it was lovely, and like, it actually all planned out really well, and yeah, I'm really pleased with that scene, but um, yeah, that, I feel like that was my favorite scene to shoot. Cool. Thank you, Sarah. I hope that um, yeah. Thanks, thank Sarah. You, yeah, thank you for asking the questions. Keep um, firing them through on YouTube. That'll be great. Um, so Elliot, we've got a question from De Danish in UK. Hopefully, I've said your name correctly. Uh, Daish. Oh. Daish. Sorry, Daish. Oh, Daish. Hi. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> great to meet you, Daish. Hi. Um, so my question is, um, there's obviously that sense of a brotherly bond that is clear off air and on air. Um, I was like, how did you create such a close bond with Harry, um, just only in a short amount of time? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it was kind of just like a snap, really. It, you, you get, you know, sometimes you get those people where you just, you, you talk to them once and you, you feel like you know you're just going to get along so well. And I feel like that was the case for Harry. I mean, I remember, I think the first time I met Harry was either at one of the rehearsals or I think I might have tapped on his uh, on his trailer. And I was like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. And he's just, honestly, instantly, I just knew that we were going to get along and everything. And it was, yeah, just just a snap, really. Nice, yeah. Thanks for asking, uh, answering my question. Thank you. Thanks for asking that. Awesome. Um, so we are going to go to California now, and we've got a question from for Harry, and this question is for from Kayla. So Kayla, what's your question? Oh, hopefully. She... Hi. So can you... hello. We can hear you. Yeah, yes. I, can hear you. I just okay. Um. So hi, Harry. You're gonna embarrass me so much right now. So... What? Sit. Hang on. I can't actually see either. Um... Hang on. I, I feel like a granddad. I don't have my glasses on. Hang on. Let me... Hang on. Since... Oh, I can't. Hang on. I need to... Is there you. a way I can make... Oh, Do you want on. me to read what it? What did it say? Oh, did it say okay. Oh, yeah. You so... go. Okay, so it says, since I adore you, it would be a golden chance for you and I to go to prom together. Oh, uh, I will 100% go to prom with you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when's, your, when's your prom? Um, it's going to be, I believe, sometime in April. April, okay. Well, hey. we'll sort something out. Hopefully, I mean, I may be filming season two then, but... Um, I mean, we'll we'll work something out if 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 there's space, all right. But a hundred percent, hundred percent. Hold on, I need to see the poster. Hold on, so just wait because there's so oh. many people on Zoom. So I'm just I'm just asking okay. Bella and Shelley, can you move the? Because we're running two laptops. Um, Bella and Shelley, could you move so that I can see Kayla's? Um, so she's in the group of twenty five on the screen. I spent so much time working on this oh, <laughs> hold on be with me okay i can see it now i can see it okay. yay oh that is so I'm cool a, i'm taking a screenshot hang on that is amazing <laughs> harry I'm that actually... is absolutely amazing harry i'm gonna send you yeah. because kayla actually sent it to me yeah yeah i'm sorry I'm... where to get that oh, yeah. okay yeah i'll send yeah, it forward to you it on to me. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll send it. Kayla, I'll send it. I want to say Gaffer too. Oh, hold on. Sorry. There's just, we've got somebody who's not on mute. Give me a minute. Oh, no. Sorry. There we go. Um, so, Harry, I will um, forward you the email. And it looks amazing. So, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I heard you were a Harry Styles fan, so I had a like, you know? I am. I am. See, that, that can be our first talking point, you know? I mean... Wait, oh. wait, did you say you're from California? I get yeah. that right. Wasn't he just in LA, like, not long ago? He was, like, two weeks ago, and I was oh. so... 
the buying okay. tickets. I want to go but... see him, so bad. Yeah. But, ugh. I will tell you right. something. Thank so, you. Harry, after you reached out, I, um, I've not reached out. That was, no, that was, after you, uh, we did our Zoom and you mentioned that you really yeah. loved Harry Styles. I got in contact with his team and I was trying to jack it up so that, that we could all, like, all three of us, and they actually sent the request to him, but he's on tour. So I'm going to cut that up, and they're like, come back to us when he's not on tour. No way, because I've actually met Harry before. We did Dunkirk, and I was in yes. Dunkirk for like, yes. seven, yeah, like seven seconds. But he was lovely when I, when I met him, but I didn't listen to his music at that time, because I think he just left One Direction at that time. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love to meet him again. I I'm not sure if he'll remember me, because I look a bit older now, but I mean... Um, I mean, yeah, he's a lovely, lovely guy, but oh, that's insane! Wait, so what was the what was the re what was the request be you sent in? I said like so. You know how um, one I can't remember who asked, but they're on here. They asked um, what would be the playlist, what would be on um, Jason's yeah. playlist, and then you said you had to think about it, but you said on your playlist it was yeah. um, Harry Styles, and so I sent them that snippet, and I just explained what we did. I also might have done the same for um, your celebrity cr crush, but turns out it's Thanksgiving there and nobody's answering emails. So, yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be amazing, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, if you get a request you two back from me, it's because I've managed to uh, get your celebrity crush on here, because that would be yes, awesome. Yes, Billy. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. No way. <laughs> well, yeah, no. So no I, way. Unfortunately, I got the automatic email to say, we closed for Thanksgiving. I was like, oh, oh. I didn't even realise it was Thanksgiving because we don't have it here in New Zealand. <laughs> so, but yeah, anyway. Anyway, okay, moving on. Kayla, um, I will send that to Harry. And so, yeah, awesome. Thank you. Cool. Um, so we are going to go to... Um, France and Elliot, this is a question for you, and it's for Leti yeah. from, sorry from Letitia in France. Letitia. Letitia. Letitia, are you? Yes, oh. it's Letitia. Oh, sorry. I, oh, Hello. No, sorry. Oh. How are you? What's your question? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, so, if you could um, change your character, who would it be in House of the Dragon? Anyone from House of the Dragon? Yes. Cool. Uh, oh, that's a good question, actually. I mean, I would probably go with Damon, just because, I mean, you know, Damon. obviously I'm not really the right age gap to play Damon, but if if I was, I would probably go for Damon just because he's... He's quite an exciting character. Like he, he gets yeah. up to a lot of mischief, and but he's also got that other side to him, where he's, you know, he can be quite sympathetic with, with people, um, especially his uh, daughters. So, yeah, I just think he's a very complex character. It'd be really fun to play. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thanks for your question. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so Harry, we are going to Algier, um, Mar Mar Marawa, um, what's your question for Harry? Hi. I'm fine. I'm with my sister. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fangirl in the tag. <laughs> okay. So, um, my question for you is do you read fan fictions and what is your take especially so, fan fictions about your own character so what 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 exactly is a is a fan fiction what is that uh, everyone's uh, just gone mental oh no i'm really that like, sorry <laughs> no. uh, uh, what is what is it is it, is, is it like uh, is it story that fans write about my character is that what it is that's just that's a guess Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes. Oh, okay. No, but I will. I, I don't know where to read. Where can I read these fan fictions? Can I? Can I actually, read I'm actually writing a fan fiction about House of the Dragon, but not about your character specifically. So you can oh, find right. them on uh, Tumblr, Archives of Our Own, and Wattpad. Okay, I'll I'll have a little look after this. 
after this. The night. fans will have my head for this because I just exposed them, but <laughs> I think you should read. <laughs> okay, I'll have a little read after. I'll have a little read after the um after the. Zoom. Also, I just have two things to say. Uh, compliments on the hair because you're giving serious black vibes. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, I just wanted to say hi uh, for my friends Dalia and uh, Aurore. They they're saying hi. Aww. I say hello back to them. Are you? <laughs> Thank you. Are you so zooming nice. in from Algeria? Is that where you are? Yeah. Yes. Ah. Oh my God. Awesome. Cool. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so yes. much. I'm going to have to look at these fan fiction things too. To be honest, I'd never heard of them either. <laughs> so I'll, all right. I'll Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Love you, Elliot. Love Bye. you, Harry. Oh, oh, thanks. Uh, awesome. Thanks so Hi. much. I've been so bad. I don't know what a fan fiction. I, I didn't know, know either. So don't feel bad. I, is it? Is are they like? For instance, I get like some really amazing sort of fan art on Instagram. Could that be like a fan fiction? Or no, that, it's not. Like, <laughs> no, okay, that's I've not. I've started another riot, haven't I? I'm I'm googling it. I am googling it. A fan fiction <laughs> is basically a a written. Uh, thing. Okay, like, yeah. Like a story. Uh, yeah, no, I know what you mean now. I've got exactly, it. a story got it. involving the reader or an, another character, basically. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I've got it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Got it in my head now. You're welcome. Yes. Right. Goodbye. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so, Elliot, we have got a question from the USA from Cara Lee. So, Cara Lee, what's your question? Hold on, I need to find my question. Did you say it to Elliot? Yes, please. Awesome. Okay, I was going to ask, are there any deleted scenes that you were in that you wish made the final cut or just any deleted scenes in general that you can tell us? Uh, yeah. Um, there was, well, actually, there wasn't too much deleted scenes, I don't think. I don't know really what I meant to say. Actually, I... I, I I would say there was one where we came into King's Landing, me, me and Harry, and a couple, a couple others as well. I think they we were meant to like come out the, uh, the, carts, but I think they had to cut it out due to time or maybe. I mean, there was a lot of screaming babies on the day, so maybe they couldn't <laughs> include it because of that. Um, but but that was one sort of deleted bit. But I think you can see Harry very briefly in the in the background yeah. but no, i was kind of yeah. hoping that like i would see like, like that there'd be deleted scenes that like you and phoebe so we can see more like luke and reina uh, yeah those? i think the only i don't think there were deleted scenes of me and phoebe actually i don't think there were any but there was i guess just uh maybe some some stills of both of us i don't know i think i don't think they they took anything out really they just sort of played around with what they had and <laughs> I made it into that's pra that's really rather crazy. unfortunate. <laughs> oh, thank you. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Cara. Elliot. Well, we've um we've also got a question from someone in Brazil on who's watching this live, and they've just asked, "What's your favorite music that you're listening to right now?" Oh gosh. Uh, I the thing is about me, I actually listen to. A lot of different things. Mm. So, oh gosh, I really can't answer actually. That's okay. I guess I like loads of different ones. Uh, I I listened to one song by Arctic Monkeys recently. I listened to one, and then Did it, I get you this is the thing. Was that me? Did what? I get you for Arctic Monkeys out? <laughs> you might have actually. You might. I have. played it on set. But then again. All the time. But then again, there's like there's oh I, I do like Coldplay actually I, I like those those two. But also um, I I'll listen to something completely different as well. Like there's this artist called Nux who I listen to a couple songs of, and someone called you got me into this. I listened to one song by them, uh, D Block Europe, which is like completely different, like completely different. But you know loads of loads of different um, a mash of different songs. Yeah. Awesome. Cool, thank you. My daughter, who, my daughter Bella, who's also helping because there's just so many people on Zoom and um, YouTube, she just texts me and she's like, I read fan fiction, mum, and I just feel really old now because I didn't know what it was. 
Yep. Well, I didn't either. So, well, half new. Not yeah. really. Okay, all good. Um, so Harry, we've got a question for you from Mexico. Melanie, what's your question for Harry? Oh, oh my God. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Hey, Melanie. Uh, hi. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Sorry. No, okay. that's all good. Right. I'm calm now. <laughs> um, I'm the university, so. <laughs> okay. Um, what motivated you to audition and for which character did you originally audition? Oh, okay. Um, I originally went for Jace, but on like it's all very secretive um, on the emails beforehand. So we it was during COVID, so we had to send in. I mean, I think this is the same for Elle as well. We had to send in something called a self tape, which is like basically an audition, but it's like from your own house, but on a yeah. on like just like a laptop or a camera or whatever on your phone. So we had to send something that that in first. Um, but it, the character name for me was listed as Jack. So, you know, that's how secretive they are. Um, and it was, uh, it had some, I think it was, there was like a code name or something. Um, for like, it, so I just didn't know I was going in for Game of Thrones, which probably helped because it would have stressed me out a lot more. So I think it was better that it was a bit more chill and I didn't really know what it was. Um, but um, uh, what, what was he? Uh, it was, yeah, it was listed down as Jack. Um, but yeah, the scene that I did in the audition was, you know, in episode 10 where Luke and Rhaenyra are having that, uh, mother and like son talk in the, near the painted table. That was the scene. I played Rhaenyra in that scene. So they just switched the names around. So I was talking to Luke and then it was called Jack and Luke. Um, so I played Rhaenyra in that scene and that was the script that uh, I did. But yeah, I didn't go for any other characters. The one thing I do remember was I had like a really short haircut and um, I, I went in and it was between like me and six other people and there was these like really tall, like mussy boys with like long hair and I just thought, oh no, this is, this is going to be one of those ones where yeah, I'm just not going to get because they all look like a prince and I just look like a just me. So I was like, oh no, I probably won't get it. Um, but um, I went in and then I got it, which was insane. So, but I really didn't expect it. But I knew it was Game of Thrones just before I went into the studio and did my last audition. But that's probably what made me a little bit more nervous. But yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so thank you for answer. I had a bad day, but now I'm happy. <laughs> oh, awesome. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I was having an exam, so. Oh, exam. Oh, make sure, make sure you are smart. I didn't. Come <laughs> mine. That went bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> um, Harry, last time when we spoke, we were talking about um, fears, and you mentioned the fact, like, with heights, um, and there was a post on Instagram, and I just, and it was of these two people, and they were, um, having a look at this amazing view and they were um, like way up high and I immediately thought of you and thought yep you'd be freaked out about that because you'd think you'd um, <laughs> like somehow end up at the bottom of the cliff so I just because I was I've... looking I was looking at that photo going there's no way that I could stand on that ledge of that cliff because um, not that I'd want to jump off it but um, yeah I immediately thought of you when I saw that post I thought you wouldn't be would... I would probably pass out and then that's what would cause me to fall off yes. the cliff. So, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. just typical heights, really. I hate them. Yeah. And Elliot, <laughs> Elliot was just sharing that he doesn't do well with spiders before you no. jumped on. So. No, absolutely not. No. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I Have I actually not said that on set before, that I'm absolutely terrified of spiders? No, because then I would have, no, because that would have been so good, because then I would have literally <laughs> brought a spider near you and I would have, like, Really You've got a pet spider. No, I would have brought like a spider <laughs> onto set. Oh. Like, just, yeah. oh, why did you tell me that? That's a I thought story. I did tell you that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just kept it a secret. Yeah, no. Just... Maybe you did. No. <laughs> My mind has just gone wrong. <laughs> no, I I can't do well with spiders to be honest. No, not at all. Oh, no. Well, that's why that's why you need to come to New Zealand. No poisonous spiders. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
Um, Definitely I, not Australia. No, no way. No. No way. No. <laughs> um, Elliot, we've got a question from Dumish, Ooh. who is in Germany. Oh, hopefully they're here. Oh, are you? Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? What's up? Hi. Um, gotcha. Hi. Hey. Uh, I wanted to ask, um, what was it like seeing all the love and so support of the fans towards your character, especially after the finale on uh, social media? I don't know if you really use social media. But, for example, on TikTok, there are 477 million views on your character, uh, Lucerus Valerian. Is that, is that right? Oh, that I, is I looked absolutely it up like a, I looked it up like a couple of days ago and there are, there are like a lot of views and edits about your character. Well, I knew there was like a lot of edits on it, but I didn't know there was that much people watching it. That is... Absolutely nice. I mean, yeah, there's been insane, insane amounts of um, support, especially on like Instagram. Like that's honestly the amount of kind messages I've received and and fan art I've been tagged in and everything. I, I you know I try to check every single one possible, and it's just absolutely just the best feeling, really, just having all these people be so passionate about this character. But yeah, that's that's really stunned me. The amount of people who have. Uh, Watch TikToks. That's pretty mad. Did not know that. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, cool. Harry, we are going to Arizona. Got Brooklyn, who's got a question for you. Hey, Brooklyn. Hi. So um, nice to see you guys. This is really cool. Really cool experience. Um, my question yep. is, what was your favorite location to film at? And what was your least favorite if you have one? Cool. Um, okay, I'm going to take like studio as a kind of uh, least favorite location, which was the I don't know if you've seen the videos you now and they've got them big LED um, screen ones it's called the volume stage they like posted a video about it i think yeah yeah um that was really that was really cool but that has to be like my least favorite because that was my first day of shooting and i get like really bad migraines and oh. like the leds did something to my eyes and i felt extremely ill the whole day because of the leds but that was probably my least i'm saying least favorite is in like i didn't hate it or anything that was just like but like, like for me, that's bottom. Bottom tier, yeah. Yeah, because of that reason that I ended up really ill. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, I think my favourite was Portugal because the scenery was on these massive mountains, and also the hope that like, where we were staying was in a place called Monsanto, and we was um, like completely in the middle of nowhere, which was lovely because everyone was staying in the same hotel pretty much, and we always kind of forced to like bond and like have dinner together, which I think was really nice. Um, so yeah, just the scenery and um, making new bonds with people that we probably wouldn't have even spoken to because we'd be shooting in different places, different times. It was all there together, which I think was, which I think was lovely. Go grab a charger, babe. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brooklyn. Okay, I've got, you guys can't see the huge pile, but I've got all these questions that um, Shelley and Bella keep sending from um, YouTube. And we're going to have to, Elliot, you're going to have to go first with um, saying something in Valerian because there are just so many requests. Anything. Yep, anything. Should I just do my line? I'll do my line that I said. I think I can, it won't be as good, but I'll try my best. Let's see. Okay. Dokimar você. La hosse ino tarrax, likiri, rites, ribas. Oh. And then, soves arrax. YouTube and everyone is just going crazy with the. Oh, like, really? The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I hope I did all right. Rate it out of 10. Oh, seriously. Everyone is just, all the comments on YouTube and everybody's just waving on Zoom here as well. So, <laughs> there you go. Harry, you, I don't know if you want to go next or we can just move on for a little bit. You should me first. I can't compete with that. <laughs> yes, you can. Go on. You got I didn't this. even have any, like, Valerian, Valerian lines. Hang on. 
Um, I, I, you know, I've actually recently I signed up to the Duolingo for the for the, <laughs> cause, <laughs> because I wanted to just learn it. But anyway, no, because I've said so. I've done I've done Dracades, so I've done that, and then um, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything... Wait, El, can you say a word and I'll just... I haven't said before and can I repeat it? Uh, okay, let's try. Doki mar So like... So you, one so one you say doki and then mar vose. Doki mar vose. Doki mar vose. Doki mar... Oh, oh. you got to just roll it. Just go doki mar... And then it's like one flow. Mar vose. Mar vose. Mar vose. Doki mar vose. Like that. Doki so mar vose. Yes. Yes. All right. Nice. You got it. What does that mean? Do you know what that means? <laughs> uh, I think it's, oh, it's either, actually, I don't think it's obey. I think obey is like, rites. I think that's obey. I know what calm is. Be calm is like, likiri. Um, doki I don't know what it means. Sorry, I've been on the mean. spot there. I was just interested to know what I've just said. But... I know, I did know as well, but. It's all right. So, is I the... forgot, I forgot. Can you sign up to Duolingo to learn the language from there? Yeah. What? I haven't, I haven't got it, but I, I'm really, I'm gonna get it now. I'm gonna try it out. My, yeah. da- my daughter uses that for Spanish, um, because they, it's compulsory for at the school she goes to to learn Spanish. I had no idea you could. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, Harry, uh, we are going to Malaysia, and we've got a question from Zeti for you. Hi. Hello. Oh, you've just got something. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay, question for Harry is, uh, what is your favorite behind the scene moment from the set? Um, it was when I had to say, dragons fly faster than ravens. And because <laughs> I kept saying, you know what I'm on about, didn't you? Yes, I, kept I know exactly what you're on about. And obviously, you know, I put on a bit of, like, I have to put on a bit of, like, a posher accent for Jace, and um, I have to pronounce things more than I usually do in my own accent, um, and I make my voice a tiny bit deeper for Jace. But I I, I, um, I remember saying that line, and I was, I, instead of saying, dragons fly faster than ravens, I was saying, dragons fly faster than ravens, and I couldn't <laughs> get it, I couldn't get it uh, right, and everyone was just in, like, well, Elliot was in tears, like, because we were just <laughs> crying. It was like a tongue twister by the end of it. Um, uh, but what was you going to say, El? I was just going to say, I remember it came to a point where we couldn't make eye contact for the rest of the day or something. No, we had to, no, we, we we really had to look away from each other and, and basically just just pretend like, we, you know, each other weren't there because it, it came to a point we just couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, God knows if we do a... I'd love to do a comedy film with you, El, because we oh, would, yeah. it would take, it would take like so four fun. years to shoot. That would, that would take <laughs> yes. too long. Because we'd just Way too long. <laughs> no, I would love to do that, though. That would be hilarious. Oh. Cool. Awesome. Make it happen. <laughs> please. Come on, please. Thank you, Zeti. Thank you, Zeti. Um, Thank Thanks so much. Elliot, we've got a question from Dinity, who is in Peru for you. Cool. Um, hi. Hi. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I can hear you. I'm so, um, sorry. Um, sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> My English is not the best. Uh, so, okay. this is a hypothetical question. So, in a hypothetical case that you were abandoned on a desert island, so choose three characters from the series of the dragon, and who would you will take to survive? And tell me why. So on a desert island with three characters, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I'd have to bring Jace because <laughs> he's my brother, you know. And I also think he'd be really loyal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, you know, with my brother. <laughs> also, I think, I think R- Rhaenyra because Rhaenyra would just like calm me down so much. I, 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 I don't know. It just Rhaenyra's got that sort of element of just peace and so, well i say that maybe you know not for long but we'll see um and then <laughs> i don't i don't know i'm just assuming and then <laughs> and then the third one we've got to mix it up a bit who who are we gonna have for the third one 
call some let's call some conflict. We'll have Eamon. Oh. We'll bring Eamon with him. Cause a bit of conflict, you know? I ain't no, going no, to just... an island. Just I'm not to... doing that. <laughs> just to settle. We've got to settle something and you know, the only time would be with my brother and my mum. So we might as well just settle it there. See if we can become friends. Never know. Nice. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Thank, so, you. Yeah, I'm ready for Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Harry, we've got a question from Italy from Stif uh, Stephanie. Stephanie, what's your question? Oh, I'll just see if I can find you. Hi. There we go. Hello, Stephanie. So you guys are amazing and I think you will be in our hearts and in particular thank you Elliot for making us cry anyways oh. as a spectator um, I'm always being curious about what's on the other side so I would like to know what was a day like on set what were the steps that you had to go through uh, what was that steps to uh, go through to become Jace do you mean just like whatever you had to do during the day when you got on set oh okay oh sorry um okay yeah so first thing you do is we go in and i would it would normally be about five six a.m for me um and i go in and i go in my trailer and i'd have just typical breakfast really um and then i'd it'd be hair and makeup time so they'd put the um the wig on me um and then they put some like makeup on because they have to put something like on you to make you not shine on camera mm -hmm. um and then you get into costume and we had these oh do you remember the big um like lacy boots kind of thing yes yeah yeah so so they're, yeah, they're a bit of, yeah they're a bit of a a nightmare to uh like do up to undo they're fine but like it would take yeah. me a good 25 minutes and I mostly couldn't do it myself and I'd have to be really embarrassed and go, excuse me, can I have all of my boots, please? <laughs> and they'd like, yeah. So they'd have to come and do it for me. Um, but um, yeah, so I'd, it'd take like a little bit long uh, to get into the boots and then once you're sort of all costumed up, you go on set and we run through the scene um, and everyone sort of stands in a circle and we sort of rehearse it and then we do that and depending on how long the scene is, we normally do about a scene sort of normally take about either a day or two days or longer. I think one of the scenes took a week to do or five days. Um, wow. But yeah, that's that. And then it would just be a repeat and we'd just keep going. The painted table okay. scenes took two years. So that was the sort of the longest, <laughs> the longest scenes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank Have a Thank great you. day. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. You too. So Elliot, this question's from, we're coming, going to Spain and we've got Anoa, Anoa. Hopefully I've said your name correctly. Ooh. Hi, there we go. nice to meet you. Hello, lovely to meet you. <laughs> I hope you are doing all right. And um, my question is, um, if you had to describe uh, your character with a song, um, which one would it be? Good question. Very good question. Um, <laughs> let's go with like, you know, what? we were on the topic of Arctic Monkeys, so we're going to stick with them. Let's go with uh, 505 okay. by Arctic Monkeys. Amazing. Let's yeah. go with that. Um, thank you so much for answering thank my you. question. And before I go, could you please um, tell me which is your favourite book, if you have one, or one that you love a lot? Because I'm trying to read 100 of them by the end of the year, so I need books. Oh, wow. So. Okay. Um, gosh, I haven't... I'm going to be honest, I used to read a lot, and now I've, I've had to sort of stop reading because I, I haven't been able to fit in a lot of, of reading. But, oh, what did I... I used to like the, uh, the books. There was some books called, like, The Enemy... And something it was like a zombie apocalypse type thing. Have you have you read that? No, I haven't. But I will look for it. If I'm correct, it might be by someone called Robert Muchmore. I think, maybe. But I used to ages ago. I used to read those. So, see if you okay. can find one. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. <laughs> have a lovely day.
Awesome, thank you. Um, so we have got uh, Raphael for, oh, I can't see her actually. Where are you? Have you got a question? Hi, it's Raphael actually, but you can call me Ella, it's fine. Ella, is um, it? Can you hear me? Yes, sorry. Yes, yeah, we can, yeah, we can hear you. Oh, um, I'm really nervous, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. from Portugal. And um, I would really like to, to know um, what was your experience here? If you had any fun with the locals, um, just wanted to know. Um, yeah, um, like, I, like I said before, me and El were kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, I don't know if you know of Monsanto. Yeah, it, it's it's not really close here, but I know what it is. Where it is. Yeah, it was like a three and a half hour drive from Lisbon Airport. Um, but um, yeah, I don't like. We wasn't really allowed to mix with like anyone, was we? We sort of just went to went to work yeah. and went back to the hotel. We didn't really have um, time to like go sightseeing or anything. Or, or no, so, but I do remember one time. El, do you remember when we went? Oh no, yeah, I've said this on live before. We went in the in the sauna. Yes, because that, that was like one of the only things that was in the hotel that we could we could do because we were like really bored one time. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Sauna. We went straight to the sauna. And it was extremely like too hot because we overdid it with the. We just kept filling it up, and it just it got yeah, it got messy. It, it got, got very boiling hot. So, so we decided to run outside and and leave. But um, yeah, no, I want to go. I, I think I've only been to Portugal. That was the only time I've been to Portugal. So I would really like to go Portugal properly and. Um, experience experience the country properly oh that's that's really nice maybe i could like show you around i don't know <laughs> please do kidding. please do <laughs> i'm from the north i'm from porto so maybe i could show you porto and we could have some fun like the, you know yeah it's a really pretty city so thank you very much uh my yeah. friends from brazil uh love you very much so thank you it's really thank nice you. thank you so much <laughs> Oh, awesome. Thank you. So, um, Elliot, we've got a question coming to you from South Africa from Dylan. Dylan, what's your Oh, B, you're on a uh, mute. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Am I? So I just spotted that. I don't know how that happened. That's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Um, so, <laughs> Elliot, we've got a question from uh, Dylan, who's in South Africa. Dylan, what's your question? Ooh, where are you, Dylan? Dylan, are you still with us? Hi. Oh, there we go. Hi, Dylan. How are you? Yeah, all good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Um, so, just before I ask my question, um, today at a geek convention in my city, um, me and my friend went and we saw someone that looked exactly like you, almost in a Lucaris costume i can't oh, think wow. telling myself that's not elliot <laughs> oh my gosh that's quite creepy actually what do they look pretty much identical to me pretty much identical even the hair was exactly the character's hair wow what convention oh. was it dylan um it's called connect it's the annual D convention in my city oh. almost oh, like cool Cool. What's your question for Elliot, Dylan? Um, so my question is, um, now that you've portrayed a character in a very beloved fantasy world, and with Netflix busy with their own Narnia universe, um, starting in the next few years, would you have given the opportunity to portray a character like maybe like Edmund Pevensey in the Narnia universe from Netflix? Yeah, I mean that'd be that'd be great. I mean, I've I saw you know, growing up actually, I I, I did watch the Narnia movies, um, the old ones. I was, I was quite a big fan of uh, the Narnia uh, sort of franchise. So yeah, I'd love to give it a go. Why not? I mean, sure. Yeah, <laughs> be cool. Cool. Thank you, Dylan. Cheers. Thank you. Cool. Um, 
we have got a couple more minutes left um because i know we started a bit late so i hope you guys don't mind um so i'll, I'll squeeze in a couple no, yeah absolutely that's fine i'll squeeze in a couple more questions um harry we're going to ecuador and we've got a question from cynthia for you hi cynthia um, hi Hello, cynthia. um i would like to first of all say that uh, my English is not the best, but okay. I'm my best. I hope you understand everything I have to say. Ooh. First of all, I'm a huge fan of yours uh, as well, Harry and Elliot. I really love them, your characters, and I think I grew up a lot just watching your scenes. And oh. my question is for you. Um, do you have like a routine or maybe um, something you do, like you did all through the, before shooting all the scenes, like for getting prepared or getting into the character? Yeah, um, for, for me, I, I actually had a, um, I bought a little diary book and I did, uh, I did this with previous characters as well. And what I do is, um, for each scene, I write a page or two of how this character is feeling in the scene. So before a shoot day, I'll write a dear diary from Jace's point of view of what he's done in a day and, you know, how he feels about certain things and stuff. So before every day of shooting, I'd always make sure I write in that diary for what they expect to come in and I'll write after it of what, you know, notes from the directors and stuff, what they've said and see what the contrast is um, from before and after. Um, but yeah, I d I've done that with previous roles as well. But um, yeah, I mean, that's really the only thing I do to really prepare myself. I haven't had some really like hardcore scenes yet. I mean, next year, hopefully, if we get a scene where um, if Jace finds out about uh, Luke's death, then I I'll probably like, start listening to like, I don't know, sad TikTok songs or something to get me in the in my feels before <laughs> before the scene. But um, diary wise, yeah, that's 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 what I do. And maybe hopefully one day I reckon I'll release it if I finish it. But it's still it's still got a lot of pages. But um, it's like sort of um, yeah, it's just something I do to really uh, get myself into Jace. But I'm going to carry that on um, throughout season two as well. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I think that's really great, and I'm sorry, I'm actually shaking for us to do this. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I don't know if I could ask something else. Um, would you mind if I do a heart like this with my hands? Could you do it, please? I would love to Wait. have a screen. Wait, I'm on. just like this, or I don't know. I, that's oh. incredible. I love you so much. Oh. <laughs> and um, it's amazing. Thank you guys for Thank your work. You Thank you. Thank you, Thank Cynthia. You. Um, I'm going to squeeze a couple more questions and we, um, Elliot, we've got a question from the USA from Noel. Noel, what's your question for Elliot? Hello, Hi. can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, can you? Uh, can you hear me? I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All good. No, we can hear you. Okay. First, I just want to say that I've been a fan of Harry since Dr. Doolittle. My whole family loved that movie, and I've been a fan ever since. Oh, my God. And I actually oh. couldn't believe that you were Prince Deceris. I actually went on Google and found out, and I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Dr. Doolittle, wow. Yeah, and Elliot, I have... I'm just a fan now of you, and I'm... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm literally shaking right now. Can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I love Prince Lucera's with all my heart, and I even introduced your character to one of my friends, and she didn't watch the show, she had no idea about Game of Thrones, and as soon as she saw that, that scene, she started bawling her eyes out, so oh, I just want to let you know thank that. Thank you so you much. Watch. Thank you. And, yeah, Appreciate my that. question, uh, who am I supposed to ask the question to? I'm you sorry? You choose, you choose, you choose. Okay, Harry, I have a question for you regarding a fan theory around you and Helena. So who wanted to do? Okay. Uh, so there was a scene where you took Helena for a little dance and I thought it was adorable. I love that scene. And it has like yeah. many edits on TikTok. But I want to ask you is that, did you offer Helena, like did you offer that dance because you wanted to like uh, insult Egon in a way? Cause you know, after what he said to Bela in front of you or did you do that out of like a kind heart from Desiree's perspective? 
You know, I could just make your series look really good and say he done it with a kind heart, but I reckon it was like, I, I'd say it was like a cool, like it was like half and half. I reckon he knew what he was doing with dancing with his wife because, you know, he's already killed him with kindness and that's just an extra way to say, you know what, you have that, mate. Like, do you know what I mean? Uh, but also, I think most of it was like, um, in a way of because, you know, when she gave her speech, she says, um, he only really pays attention uh, to you sometimes, like when he's drunk. Um, so, you know, I feel like Jace really feels for her because she's with some hell of a man who, and I do think that if she did go with Jace, like Rhaenyra said, she would have had a much, much, much better and easy life. Um, but um, I think everyone would have. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel like it's very, very 50-50 on that mouth. But mostly the kind heart thing, because I think uh, JC is not really spiked for that like, at all, really. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Love you, Harry thank and Elliot. I love you both. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm going back. So we've got, there's a couple of people with the same names on here. So Noel, Noel. Hey, you're on mute again. Oh, my Sorry. gosh. <laughs> I had to call. I saw, my... you do it. I saw you doing this with your hands like you were talking, and I was like, yeah, Great. Right. Right. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> Loving it. Okay. Um, we've got a couple of people who've got the same names on here. So, Noel no Knowing Knowington in the USA. Hey. There you go. Sorry. What's your question? It's okay. Okay. Um, is this for Elliot or yeah. for Harry? You choose. You choose. Okay. Um, Maybe either one of you could answer this um, because you both kind of have scenes with High Valerian. Um, so how did you, the cast, prepare for these scenes? Like with Elliot, how did you and Ewan uh, prepare for the scene where uh, Luke and Arax are pursued by Aemond? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, well, we, we got given uh, different meanings of it, actually. So we got given the... Valorian uh, language then below it we got a sort of breakdown and then below that uh, we got uh, what the words meant in English so it was good because we could go okay that means that so you'd say it differently maybe uh, and then from there I, I mean I got a, I think the the whole cast well got a really really lovely uh, dialect coach named Danielle who was absolutely wonderful yeah. and she got me so prepared to say the words um, and it's now sort of just became like something I can just say. So my lines, I could just say it normally now, which I'd never be able to do because there's a lot of like, uh, and uh, like, uh, like R sounds, which I wouldn't have been able to do before. But um, yeah, sort of just that sort of breakdown of it all. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um we are going to have to wrap this up, guys. We've gone over our hour. So I just wanted to say, Harry and Elliot, thank you so much for taking the time out. This has been awesome. Um, and yeah. Pleasure right every time. Thank, thank you, you B. So much, cool. And thank you very much, B. And thank you all, all you lot. Yeah. Thank for, you to everybody along. who's um, watching this live on YouTube, uh, to everyone who joined in the Zoom, um, to Shelley and Bella. Thank you so much for helping. But yeah, um, Harry, Elliot, this has been awesome, and yeah, Thank we so I hope we hope we can chat again. I'm yes, gonna, I'm gonna me too. The beauty screen, so I want to wave to everybody. Wait, there you go. That's wait. what. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. Cool. Until next time, everybody. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys. Thank you. See you later, everybody. Bye. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. I love you too. Bye. 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 Bye.